viewers. Thank you very much for viewing my poem. Uh, this is Poet WP. This poem is copyrighted under my pen name, my pseudonym, Gabriel Samadhi. This is a wonderful Alex Gray painting that I have on my uh, folder that I used to use to, when I would go around New York reading poetry to carry my poems in. If you guys don't know about Alex Gray, I highly recommend looking him up. He did the tool art, and uh, he does some amazing stuff. Anyway, this poem, in the same transcendental vein of Alex Gray, it's called Don't Panic, Look Within. Rearrange your rationale. Don't look for logic and gut reactions. When your desire attracts your greatest fear, you know you have not escaped the roots of what binds you psychologically. Before patterns of behavior can be broken, you must, find, you must first change the way you establish your trains of thought. Intangible, impermanent self, you can't repeat what you have already lived. There is only now in the presence of now don't find fault in the thought of tomorrow. Seeing the patterns of the future by studying the past. Lose the self. I need the nothingness. Quiet. Clear. Without identity or thought. The butterfly stumbles from the cocoon, flying towards the sun. And once again, as I always emphasize, uh, this poem is copyrighted under my pseudonym, my pen name, Gabriel Samadhi. This is a transcendental poem. This is a poem about finding um, the salvation and insight and wisdom it comes from meditation and isolation and self-reflection and a conscious effort to fix what's wrong with ourselves and to correct the things in our minds and in our hearts that bind us and hold us back, you know? You can be your own greatest doctor when it comes to like psychological matters, but that requires that you understand yourself and know yourself well. And that can be a terrifying prospect for a lot of us and for, for you know, many people. But in order to find peace within yourself, I think it's imperative. You have to, you have to look at everything and you have to be your own your own greatest advocate, your own best friend. You have to show yourself the ultimate amount of compassion as well as show compassion to all other, th all other things. But also, you have to be your own biggest critic. You have to be able to be willing to psychologically examine your own uh, thoughts, your own actions, your own motivations, your own behavior. And you have to correct what is broken, what is jaded, and mend the gaps in your own understanding so that you can better, if you better understand yourself, you'll better understand everything else in the world. So, that's what this poem is about. To do a nice little summation, summation about the nature of like what I was trying to convey in the message in this poem. And I hope you like it and I hope you know people can find some benefit from what I write. I, I sincerely do. That's why I do these videos. I mean, what am I going to do with this? You know, I mean, I I'm going to I'm going to compile it into a book. Who knows if it'll like, you know, be something that people would want to buy. I don't really know. But this is what I do. This is how I write these things. 
and they need to be shared with the world. And it's my joy, and del- I'm delighted to do that. And I'll be posting more poetry. I hope you enjoy this, and thank you for watching.